Hello everyone. If you join me on what is without a doubt my worst uh, project and my worst property so far, mainly because of terrible builders. So I'm going to talk you through this house and take you through it right behind me and I also just tell you why it was so bad. Now look, you're going to hear the figures, the reality and the mistakes that I made and the mistakes that the builders made and now what we're doing to fix it. So let me take you through the house. So if we have a look here, you're thinking, hold on a minute, the walls are white. Everything's sort of like done, the carpet's down. The fuck is this? Also, you can smell burning right now, which is not a good sign, but uh, it's here. Anyway, there's a clue as to what's going on. There's a clue. Ooh, what's that? <coughs> Tyrolean gun. Uh, my stuff. More stuff. Again, there's fresh carpet. Why is this crap down? So, as you can see, this house, you know, it actually is. Fairly nice. LED bulbs around. Uh -uh. Damp, 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 damp. Scaffolding, there's a clue. Now, when we bought this house, uh, did not realize the render was bl blown and needed doing, so that wasn't in the budget, but that was cool. The roof, we couldn't get a chance to look at it properly, and it was kind of, was it summer? It wasn't summer, it was like September-ish, so you couldn't necessarily see some of the leaks because it was actually sunny for once in England. Can you believe it? So, it, it added, for the render in the roof, it was supposed to add about five grand of work that wasn't in my original scope. And that's fine. It actually turns out the absolute terrible project manager underpriced it, and it actually came, would come out to about 11 grand on top, which made the deal not stack. Um, because of the blown render and because of the roof. Now I'm going to go outside around the back and I'm going to show you what the blown render looks like and the work that's happening right now um, by a good builder, I hope. So, uh, this is to show you <coughs> the interior of the house. Now this is in the midst of the coronavirus outbreak, so I'm on lockdown in quarantine in a, in a very cold house. But at least it's decorated and the carpets are kind of soft. That kitchen looks sexy, huh? Let's go have a look. Have a look at that. Okay, ignore the scaffolding, just ignore that. But, hello, hello. You like, ooh, matte. Matte dark grey. With the matte dark grey, heavy light stone of fade workshops, the latest kitchen fashion. I mean, come on. That is nice. No, I mean, like, just look at the angles. Uh, floor, yeah, I just love the gold. You ready for this? Ooh, take your time, take your time, take your time. That's taking a long time. That is that. I think that's actually, that's just a, t a bad kitchen fitter. And actually, um, yeah, the kitchen, oh, there we go. Good job. So, you see, very nice kitchen, nice gold tap. Bling! Uh, with a black sink, nice stone effect. That noise does not sound healthy. You can tell the tiles are, are pretty shit, but this tile is crap and yeah. But, you know, overall it's, it's a nice kitchen and actually, yeah, it's a very nice color, very nice matte finish and the place has actually been professionally cleaned for pictures, but uh, as you can tell, it's um, now professionally being, uh, yeah, done. So, I'm just playing with my mic properly. This is the bathroom. IP rated light, we out here. Toilet, window, toilet, window, window. Uh, new flooring is going in here, new sink, new toilet, and um, new bath taps, a new electric shower, cleaning all the tiles and the grout, and painting the ceiling. Uh, so it's quite a, a, you know, a fairly spacious bathroom. And there's some scaffolding for the outside. Now, this was meant to be done ages ago. I've had this house for coming on to like five months now. So these morons, this should have been done two or three months, but poor communication, poor build team, um, a lack of understanding from my part, uh, and also not acting quick enough. So essentially with this deal, you know, I put it on the market at something like 67 grand. I was just trying to get rid of it, you know, and the damp was there. I wasn't hiding anything. It was like, look, this is a bit of a project, you know, and it, but it's a very big bargain because the top end is 85, 90, so four bed. 
But then I was like, I'm actually making zero money at that price point. So I was like, oh, I've got a remortgage in, I got another investor on board. Luckily, thank you investor, you know who you are. And that then allowed me to take it off the market and then spend 8,600 pounds on the render and the roof, which is what we're doing right now. So you might be able to see out there some of the old render coming off and some of the old brick and a bit of scaffolding. Uh, this, you know, this project has cost me in terms of the, the interest per month, it's cost me in stress. You know, every time I seem to come here with the old build team, nothing seemed to have got done. Like it was the same state. The kitchen fitter is not very good. Look at the, the end panel just coming down the bottom. That's not stylish. Like I mean, it looks all right, but it's not, they're meant to be cut. But yeah, basics man, BTEC. Uh, got some more lime and cement and then in there, oh, is that an oven? That might be an oven in there. Could do with an oven. Uh, I'll check that before I leave. But yeah, I really do like this kitchen. It's a Howden's, I don't know, matte grey with gold handles and their light worktop, which is from Selco. Uh, it's expensive compared to Magnet, but it's a nice kitchen. So let me take y'all back, man. I'm gonna take y'all upstairs. So in order to go upstairs, one must uh, remove my shoes. So bear with me. So right. We're going up the stairs. So you can see another, you know, sort of freshly, the whole house was plastered apparently, but some of the walls aren't very smooth. So, first issue you see are these, right? Damp, not too much, but coming in from the roof. Uh, Boilers in here. It's actually fairly new, but I can't get it to fire up. For some reason, see that? It's just, uh, it's not working. Uh, but yeah, I'll get someone to find that. And this was a repossession that I bought, as you can see. Now here is where shit gets interesting. Yo, look at the damp. Look at the damp, look at the damp, look at the damp. Oh, look at the damp. Damp inside. It's a lot, right? And this is caused from the defective render, which you'll see shortly. But look at next door neighbor's garden. Oh my God, wow. Look at that, madness. That's mine. We have to put a fence up there. It cost way too much money. Um, because people kept fly tipping. People trying to make my garden look like that. Not happening, amigos. And there's the balance of the roof. Oh, I didn't um, I will now go put that door back on or else I will get fly tipped. Uh, but as you can see, there is a very nice view. And if we look as if you were on the scaffolding, very nice view. But this is gonna be hacked off and replastered if needed, if it, doesn't dry, if it doesn't dry thoroughly. And here, look at that chimney. And look, this is a newly bloody done room, right? And yet look. Shocking, isn't it? But the chimney flashing is, yeah, not what it's supposed to be. So I'll take you through to the main hall. All nicely done. Now I'm gonna take you into one of the bedrooms. And look, look at this, this is great work from the painted decorators. LEDs, oh yeah. Again, you can see the scaffolding is coming up and the battens are there ready for the roof. And some of the render's been hacked off. You can probably see that over there. And again, lovely view. Now here's some damp down here. Again, from the render, not too much though. It's not, you know, overly around the window, just a few bits, but, you know, decent sized bedroom. And then now into another bedroom. They, they are quite light and airy and spacious, I must say. Uh, this is a bit of a smaller one, but still a good size. And actually no signs of damp, hallelujah. That is the loft entrance. Like, very, very small, as you can see. So, coming into another bedroom. Not any damp in here either, which is pretty good. Pretty good. This is all plastered. So, 
This has been a really, you know, bad deal because of my cash flow didn't allow me to refurb it when I should have and wanted to. Uh, I also was so busy with other things that this didn't get neglected, but perhaps it didn't, you know, perhaps I didn't think out of my situation. I didn't think, oh, where can I raise the money from? Where can I find this money to fund it? Which I then did by an investor. So I think sometimes you're, you know, no matter how experienced you are, or how many houses you're buying, you will make mistakes. And they don't have to be huge and costly. I mean, yeah, it's cost me an extra month of interest, 300 quid, not a, a huge, huge thing. But I still am set to make about 10,000 pounds profit if it sells at the top end of 85, maybe 90. I doubt it'll sell for 90, but I'm confident we can get 82 to 85. And so is the estate agent because it's a four bed. And you know, apart from, the damp it is in good condition you know a few new sockets throughout you know, just to tidy it up a little bit but otherwise it's in good condition so this is this has been a tour of my worst deal uh as you can see these things happen and you know this damp work should have been done first but the old bill team just wanted to do it later because his roofer was terrible and then he ran away and to the scaffolding and <sighs> long story but terrible project management led to this being as it is but then I dilly dallied later because of a lack of cash, because of a lack of mindset, and then did not sell it on. So watch out for updates on this property, uh, and also for you know more on what I'm doing. Please like, subscribe, comment, and follow my YouTube channel. I also have a podcast where I'm normally wearing yellow, but I'm not wearing yellow. I'm wearing green today. So if you don't recognise me, then it's still Tesh Talks. See ya.